Hello again, it's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements, and here we are in part seven, almost done with our eight-part basic training series for Premiere Elements. Now, titles can be a wonderful feature in your videos. They can tell your audience where something is happening, who it's happening to, what's happening. Uh, they can be used, of course, as titles for your movies or just to give people credit. And there are a number of ways to add titles in Premiere Elements. If you look over here on the right-hand side of the program on the toolbar, you can click on this little T, and you'll see there are actually a couple of categories of titles. If you click up here at the top, there are motion titles, which are more advanced, and they're kind of fun, and they have some animated elements to them. They're well worth checking out. And then there are classic or basic titles, and they're in a number of categories, an awful lot of them here, some really interesting templates from just sort of basic text to some that include some pretty cool graphics. Now these titles are editable, which means once you add them to the timeline, you can get in the title adjustments area and actually pick them apart, which I'm going to do in just a moment. But I also want to show you if you just want to add a basic title, you can do that simply by positioning your playhead on the timeline to about where you'd like the title to appear, going up here to the text menu at the top of the screen and selecting new title default text. And here we can add our custom text. And with that text selected, we can select a font for it. We can change the size simply by scrubbing over those numbers or changing the numbers manually. We can change the color of the text, change its style, change its alignment. You can align it up and down and side to side. And when you're in selection mode by clicking on this arrow, you can actually place the text wherever you'd like to place it. Now your title is not just text, it's whatever else is on here. So you can actually add some shapes to it, create your own shapes manually. You can import a background for your slide or graphics by simply going to the text menu while you're in the title adjustments area and selecting image and adding an image. You can also select from roll crawl options. So either have the text rolling up the screen, many lines of text rolling up the screen, or crawling left to right or right to left across the screen. A lot of cool things you can do with just a plain old plain text title. Let's move the playhead a little further down the line. Notice when I click back on the timeline, the title adjustments area closes. If you want to reopen title adjustments for any slide or any title slide, all you got to do is double click on the clip, the title clip on the timeline, and it will reopen the title adjustments workspace for it. But let's move the playhead a little further down the line here and choose one of the title templates. Now, a number of these, by the way, you notice have a little blue flag over the upper right-hand corner. You're going to see that throughout the program. Whenever you see a template or an effect or a music clip that has a little blue flag over the upper right-hand corner, it's an indication that it is not yet on your computer. It's on the Adobe site, but the very first time you use it, it will be automatically downloaded to your computer and yours forevermore. Only takes a second or two. But I'm going to grab this comic title and drag it here to my timeline just to show you how much control you have and how much you can edit the title once you add it. So this is a title template and if I select the selection tool here in title adjustments I can actually move those graphics around. I can place the text kind of wherever I want or I can select that background and delete it completely and just work with the text. There are things you can do to affect the style there are things you can do to add animation to your text, make a dance in one letter at a time, or come in a word at a time, or zoom in or zoom out as it appears in your movie. So a lot of fun things to play with. I go into them in depth in both my book as well as uh, in some of the tutorials we've got at moviepix.com. So in Premiere Elements, a lot of tools for customizing, adjusting, and creating your titles.